Prince Harry, 36, dated Cressida Bonus and Chelsea Davy before marrying Meghan Markle, 39. But the Duke of Sussex showed signs he wanted his love life to be private from the media in an interview on his 21st birthday. In the 2005 interview, he said, Girlfriend wise, it's my private life so it's a different story but I'm very protective. Obviously, it is part of my life, it's part of the baggage that comes with me. Speaking to Channel 5 documentary Harry and Meghan, Three Troubled Years, Viscountess Hinchingbrick Julie Montagu said, When you marry into the royal family, you have to give up so much individually as a person or at least that is what is expected of you. She added, I wouldn't say Harry was unlucky in love. He just hadnt found the right one until Meghan came along. In 2016, Ms. Davy told The Times how she was chased by the paparazzi during her seven-year relationship with Harry. She said, Yes it was tough. It was so full-on. Crazy scary and uncomfortable. I found it very difficult when it was bad. I couldn't cope. I was young. I was trying to be a normal kid and it was horrible. Harry later outlined in the interview how it affects her. He said, I can see how upset she gets. My girlfriend is somebody who's very special to me, and yes, she's gone through some very hard times. At the beginning of his relationship with Meghan, Harry released an unprecedented statement where he attacked the British press for introducing racial overtones. Discussing Harry's comments to the press, royal expert Richard Kay said the Duke of Sussex appeared aggressively confrontational. Narrator Jennifer Saying said, Prince Harry has always shown mistrust for the media but this was one fight that was always going to have an unhappy ending. Royal expert Richard Kay added, The palace thought it was unnecessarily antagonistic and as if somehow Harry was spoiling for a fight. He went about it in an aggressively confrontational kind of way. The Duke and Duchess Sussex stepped down from the royal family just four years after following negative press. The royal couple have since announced a wide range of projects including a children's book, a docuseries with Oprah Winfrey and deals with Spotify and Netflix since stepping down as senior members of the royal family. But royal expert Katie Nicholl told the documentary that the couple's latest project will not end well for them if they continue to trash the establishment.